Hey guys, welcome. All right, we got the car jacked up. This is a C300. We're gonna do the rear diff uh, oil change. Mercedes told me, nope, you don't need to change it. That is the total lie. That's like saying that uh, don't change your oil, don't change your uh, your any fluid in the car, the brake fluid, but they want you to change the brake fluid like every 20,000 miles on this. They want to flush, but they don't want you to change the rear diff. I have 50, almost 51,000 miles on this car. In the service book, you can look. There is... Um, at a thousand, I think it was a thousand five hundred. The rear diff is supposed to be changed um, for the first time. I don't know if this car had it done, but I'm changing the rear diff. Uh, and then when I hit cl get closer to sixty thousand, then the front transmission needs to be done. All right, but I just wanted to show you guys how we put it up. We use the race ramps to put it up. And that made a big difference. I got the jack here on the front. There's the main jack's point. That's right here, which I have to get the light. But um, there's a jack point there. But we used uh, the race ramps. And what was the other one, George? The rhino ramps? They're, uh, they're both the same style. Uh, uh, so the yeah, they're both ramps, the same. One brand and race ramps is the other. Yeah, race ramps. So we got them up. We used a brick and a piece of wood. So we had the wood, then the brick behind. And then once we got it up there, then we were able to get the, the ramps under here. We just put some jack stands for and safety. And then put jack stands for safety. Jack stands underneath there for safety too. Yeah. Right on the beams. Um, and as you can see, they are race ramps. Uh, of course, the camera's... Oh, there it goes. It's picking it up. The floor jacks. And there we go. There's the floor jack too. All right, now we're gonna go and uh, take the two bolts out, drain and fill, and I'll document that too for you. So we use our foot, since we didn't have a long enough extension here, to get the bolt broken. And as you can see there, yeah, it's turning. Uh, it's turning. Definitely turning. Nice. You always want to try to do the the top bolt, the fill bolt, because if you can't fill it, there's no reason to drain it. <laughs> if you can't fill it, then you can't drive it. Yep. Then you got a problem. Very nice. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's that. Once you broke it, okay. it was good. Yeah, now we gotta on. do this. Yeah. This is a drain plug. Right here. It's like it was drained or something. What's going on? That's there? what I said. I sprayed the stuff on here, and I don't know if it was from that or from just corrosion. It's uh, a chemical reaction. Yeah, it's a chemical reaction. This looks like tar paint. Something. All right. We're taking the top fill bolt out. Wow, nothing came out? Well, this is the uh, top. Yeah, but still. It's supposed to be like drivel. How is it? It was a little coming out. Oh, a little tiny bit. Clear. Very clear. Oh, that's good. Well, this, this doesn't have here. a magnet on it. Oh, it doesn't. It's the bottom one, I think, that has the magnet. <sighs> or should. Should. I learned that in the transmission, and the front, the speed sensor on it makes it magnetic. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Get this in here. You want me to get it? Where do you got it? You get it. Got it or you want me to get it? I was just trying to get it in there. Yeah. It's in there now. Alright. Here it goes. Get ready for smelling. It smells awful already. This transmission fluid always smells awful. Yep. I was going to say just try to block it because no. it's going to go all over the place. Oh, perfect. Right in. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't do it right, but 
It's, it definitely could have been. Yeah, it's not clear, clear. Very clear to me. It's clear. It's new. And this is... Is there anything 2015. Right oh, yeah, there's definitely particles on there. Yep, you just moved it. I see. Definitely particles on that. Bad. Not that bad, but definitely Mine definitely should change it. Looks the same. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, let it all dribble out. There's the other one. That's over here on the floor. All right, let's keep them together. Clean them up. Yeah, we'll clean them up with paper towels. It's pretty shallow for the lugs and steeper. Yeah, it's, he said it's less than two well, quarts. Yours on the side, mine's in the back. Yeah, yours back here, right? Yeah, one down there, one on top. Yeah. And this holds how much? Uh, it's, two quarts? It's not a full two quarts, it's like a quart and almost two quarts, he said. I believe mine's like, like 0.7 or 0.9, not even a full. Yeah, All right, guys. We clean, I cleaned it up. Both of them. Both of them are clean now. Now we're gonna reinstall them and then fill it. I wanted to buy new ones because as you can see here, there's some uh, corrosion on here. Um, but Mercedes didn't have it on their plans. They had all the ones, these guys, but they didn't have the fill in. I don't know why they don't have the fill in, in drain bolt. They right, so. When I went to Mercedes uh, and told them what I was doing, this is what they gave me. This is the gear oil that we're going to be using. We got a pump here with this thing that goes into the hole, which holds it, which is good. And now I'm going to insert this into here and then give it to my partner underneath there. <laughs> there. All right, so yeah, hold on. We got this camera in a good spot here. Maybe right here. Hopefully you can get us doing this here. All right, pretty good there. You tell me when the pump. I, uh, hold on. Okay, so we got got it in there. Hopefully you guys can see. We got it there, and then we got this here. And I'm gonna start pumping, and he's gonna hold it. I'll put you guys over here, and when it overflows a little bit. Yep, when it overflows. We're good to go. Where's the fill cap? Here's the fill cap. Here we go. Should hold it in. But... Are you holding it? Yeah, I'm holding it. That'll be really nice if it only takes one. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, didn't look, look like a lot came out. Yeah. I always worry about this clip falling in. Oh yeah. That That's the next bottle. Or the unless the thing unless if the thing's not all the way down. It might have fell off the thing. I think you're almost there because it's starting to come out. Maybe. Unless that was just a, a fluke. It's coming out. It's dripping. It's dripping? Yeah. I think it's a capacity. I would like to put more in there just to... Yep. I mean, I have it, so... I see it coming out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It's coming out. Yeah. You think I should stop? Or? Uh, I'll try to fill it up more. You could take the other one and open it just, just to, for good measure. Measure, yeah. Hold on, we'll get it before Let's taking it out it. of there. It's definitely a good stream. Oh, it's right here. It's definitely a good stream coming out. Look. Yeah, it's definitely a good stream. What do you think? Do you think I should really open this? No. I don't think I should open that. I think I should return I think it's that. good. It's starting to get super saturated, this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump the rest of it out. In there. Mm. 
It's definitely full. I think so too. Just put put the cap in. Take this. Put it. I'm gonna um, pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it up, pull it up, pull. I can see it if you want me. Well, that saved me 35 bucks. <laughs> yep. And I will return it. Throw this in the uh, bin. Yep, I'm gonna throw this in the bin. And this uh, here. Yep, pull this out. And, uh. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna tighten it. Yeah, go ahead, tighten it up. I'm still rolling, so. They should be able to see what I'm doing. What we're doing. You gotta give the people what they want. You gotta give the people what they want. Okay. Now we're Absolutely tightening sad. it. I'll leave a link in the below of the of the uh, hex bolt to get. That should probably be fine. That should be more than enough. Yeah, it it's seated in there pretty good. Felt like I went in without cross threading it, so yeah, that's good. Right. All right. Yeah, that looks good. We'll clean it up, and then when we fill it, we'll make sure it's not leaking. All right. Let's get the uh, let's get the the bottles and the thing and the uh, pump. Yep. All right, so we got this is the bolt. It's a 14 millimeter. Uh, this is the label that it came in. Here's the bolt. I gotta clean this up though. Um, we used a 9 sixteenths with this end, and then we used the 9 sixteenths with the closed end to get it. Well, I like unbreak it, break it. And then we use this one, as you see in the video. I'll leave a link for this. And um, thanks for watching. Um, I will show you the oil. That's one thing. So it's pretty, pretty clear. You can definitely see in some places that it's a little darker, but pretty clear as you saw coming out. It does really stink. But I'm glad that I changed this because um, $30 for one quart versus a whole new rear axle and transfer case, more expensive. Guys, don't always listen to manufacturers' recommendations because sometimes they tell you things that are just not right. And this is one thing. This is a crucial part is fluids. Fluids are a crucial part of a car to if you're going to keep the car. This car I'm keeping until I can't keep it anymore and it really becomes fall apart. So I rather spend the little extra money replacing fluids that they tell me not to replace that it's lifetime of the car. There is no fluid that's going to last 200,000 miles. No fluid. Or even 100,000 miles. The transmission in the front the actual transmission in the front of the car, they recommend that 60,000 miles on this car. They recommend to change that, but not the rear diff. That's crazy to me. Alright, guys. Alright, now we're going to take the jack down, uh, off. It's just touching, so... Let it drop. Got my puck for a whole dollar 85 cents much cheaper than buying the pucks for the automotives not worth it the jack now this is where it's complicated to get this off a bit if you don't know what you're doing here so, obviously if I came straight down 
the race ramp will hit the bottom of the car and then we will be screwed <laughs> um, and cause damage. So you put a brick like this or like that one, you take your piece of wood and go here. Now I'm gonna drive down to the point where I hit the wood. No, I'm gonna drive down until I hit here and then, you just skip, and then I'm going to stop the ramps out. and then take this and put here okay, and, remove and then we can the remove the ramps. Yep. Move everything and then, then it just goes back. And you got to make sure you do it on both sides. Oh, I probably should have not said that. I have to edit that part. <laughs> Alright, I'll put you over here. Hopefully you see what I'm talking about. Coming down. Yep, here we go. Good. That brick is all the way against the... Yep, it's all the way against. So you're going to come on here. So when I get to there, you need to tell me take, to stop. I'm going to tell you to stop, and then I take these ramps out. And then we got to take the ramps out, right? And oh, everything else. No, because then I'll be on here. And you'll be off. And then we have to take these, put these here. Yep. Come down After afterwards. the ramps are out, you're, you don't need anything else. Yep, this, this here. Whatever. Yeah. It'll be a... It'll we got to get to here first. You'll be off of it. Yep. Those out of there. Yeah, so you don't get the back ones over it. <laughs> Shit, that was scary. <laughs> I had a feeling that might happen. That it was gonna slide, and right? We went up and we slid. Why right. wouldn't we slide when we go down? 
could have seen. You know how close you were? Huh? You were like, you were this close. I couldn't put my finger, uh, I just about put my finger like almost in there. And I That's what I was afraid of happening. You were up here. Shit. But it didn't hit, right? Uh, no, you had just uh, saved it, right? Just saved it. But luckily you still had traction. It, I recorded taking it down right. You took it out? I'm just going to pull it out now. Uh, yeah, I took it out. Everything's clear? I took out everything there. All right, no, I'm just going to pull it out. Let's get it out of here. Oh, boy. That was uh, a pretty good piece of slate. There was a piece of slate in the back. 